Hey everyone, how is it going today? We got some cool rumor here for you, uh, some rumors actually, a couple things here. Uh, coming from a person who has a decent track record, it's someone we have uh, covered before, they're not 100%, nobody ever is, so obviously always take things with a grain of salt, but the couple of things they're talking about here are very interesting and worth your time. We're talking about uh, some plans for Donkey Kong, because remember the old rumors that we had a whole bunch of people um, supporting a new Donkey Kong game in development? Well, we have a bit of an update on that, uh, and then there's more here as well. Remember the Fire Emblem Remake rumors? Uh, well, they're back, and this time we have an update on those as well, so this is really, really cool, and I can't wait to jump into it. So let's just do that. Now, before I get into this, we are giving away two copies of Skyward Sword HD. Head down to the description to enter. Good luck with that. Uh, also, by the way, uh, before I do anything else on this, I am doing a stream tonight at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, it is my birthday today. Uh, so we are doing a birthday stream. We will do uh, other stuff as well on that stream. We'll talk about some of the news and all that. But for the most part, it's just, hey, let's chit-chat. Let's Q&A it up and let's celebrate uh, me turning a new age. What age do you think I am? Some of you guys know. What age do you think I am today? All right. Let's uh, get into this. Uh, this all comes from Zippo. Zippo is a leaker who's been on Reset Era. And I think NeoGAF before that, uh, he has a blog. Uh, he's gotten a number of things correct. Uh, more recently, he got pretty much all of the Sonic anniversary stuff correct. Uh, but he got some stuff wrong as well. You know, this is just the way it goes um, with leakers in general. Uh, sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong, and it is what it is. Uh, but his, his track record is probably about 60-40 in terms of right to not right. And what's interesting here about when he talks about Donkey Kong is... He's not the only person saying this. So there's a lot of people back in the Donkey Kong stuff. Although he gets into something that he right now, as far as I can tell, is the only source on when it comes to Donkey Kong. So let's just get into what it said here. Because he did a 2021 sequel post um, to, uh, to, to Nintendo's E3. Like basically, what are his thoughts on Nintendo's E3? He gave it a pretty good grade. Uh, and then obviously, what happened to games that people expected to see? And he covers two of them. First, I'd be in Donkey Kong. He says, this is an interesting case. This game has apparently been in development for over three years now. And if I were a betting man, I would have absolutely thought it would have been at E3. But it wasn't. Now, again, he didn't say it was going to be at E3. It's one of those, he knows it exists, but like you know, he doesn't know when it's going to be revealed. Uh, I've heard a bit more about this, so maybe this might help put people at ease. I've been told by multiple people that Donkey Kong is the next franchise in line to follow Mario in Nintendo's push for their game franchises to become multimedia juggernauts. Donkey and Company, it's weird, why is it Donkey Kong and Company? Anyways, uh, aren't that's, that's me nitpicking over something that doesn't matter. Sorry, it bothers me when it's like things aren't phrased correctly. Um, aren't just getting a new game, they're getting animation. And before this catches fire, my sources did not specify whether this was a movie or a show, just that an animation featuring Donkey Kong characters was early in the works. A big theme park expansion, which we have seen uh, images before, uh, merchandise, etc. The new game is not just a one-off. Donkey Kong is being taken seriously by the big N again, and that should be good news for fans everywhere. Just be patient. You'll hear, uh, you'll be hearing more sooner rather than later. Uh, so yeah, that obviously sounds like something that we're going to be hearing about before the end of this year. Now, I do think they're going to end up pushing this DK game to a 2022 title, which again just ends up just packing 2022 even more. But there's been a lot of stuff happening, I think, because of COVID. Uh, I think that a lot of delays in some of these games are because... And by the way, Nintendo has a decent lineup to end this year. I wouldn't say that the rest of 2021 is like, oh my gosh. Uh, but I mean, we got Metroid coming, and that, that's already a big deal to me, Metroid Dread. So... Yeah, and I think that Mario Party game is going to end up being just fantastic. So, yeah, I'm not too worried about the rest of the 2021. I do think 2022 is clearly shaping up to be one of those legendary 2017-type years. Uh, and so Donkey Kong potentially being pushed to that but being revealed in a later Direct this year, I wouldn't be uh, surprised on that. Um, another game uh, he, he talks about here is that Fire Emblem remake that's been rumored by multiple sources. Uh, and, he went, and he said this, um, Yes, this is very much happening. What I do not know currently is which Fire Emblem game is being remade. Fans, fans are split between either the genealogy of the Holy Ward or the Burning Blade. Either would make sense, considering both titles have never seen an English language release. Again, I've been told once again that this is a game that is nearly complete. So as I see Nintendo sitting on it, they're good and ready to make, uh, you, you know, to make and 
I don't even know. This is a, another really poorly put together sentence. Um, what's interesting too is he mentions he has an editor earlier. I I don't know. I think he's just you know like on my live streams and I go, hey Nintendo Prime, what are you doing? One dollar, twenty dollars, like the whole. I, I think he's got a little skit here where with an editor because if he really has an editor and this is how it's coming out. The editor's doing a really bad job of, of, of fixing the, the sentences here. Um, anyways, uh, when he does know more, he says, I'll make an update. Uh, have some patience, Fire Emblem fans. You're going to be eating good before too long. And that's really uh, interesting because this is like the fourth person I have uh, seen and that I've reported on in my videos that has put out there that these Fire Emblem remakes are basically done. So why aren't they coming out? Uh, they might be. Uh, maybe Nintendo thinks they don't need a long hype cycle. Uh, for it, maybe Nintendo thinks, hey, this is going to be a February game next year. Uh, maybe this is their March game next year, right? We know that Pokemon Legends Arceus comes out uh, in January, but after that, we don't actually know when Breath of the Wild 2, Splatoon 3, or Sparks of Hope is coming out. I assume Sparks of Hope is going to be more like summer, like the original game, uh, and I assume Splatoon 3 is probably a summer game because Splatoon just has that summery feel to it, even though it's a desert, desolate place they're going to. It just feels like a summer type of game, and that's what they did sort of with Splatoon 2, like right before summer. So I can see that being like an April, May release for Splatoon 3. You do, uh, you know, Sparks of Hope in July, maybe June. Uh, you have uh, Legends Arceus then. Maybe Donkey Kong or Fire Emblem are going to end up being the March 2022 games or April or, or something. I have no idea. So I feel like there's obviously a lot of slots still open in 2022 in comparison to this year where it's only really like one month, and I don't know if they're going to force Fire Emblem, like push it out for that one month. They might. They may just say, look, we know we're going to sell out our systems this year anyways. Let's just wait till 2022 when we're more caught up in production. Maybe there's a new system on the market. I have no idea. Um, and Nintendo wants to just repeat 2017 all over again and just slam us with games. So and right now he's saying that this thing's pretty much done. And I happen to think he's probably right. At least based on the other people that have talked about this game. I obviously know about the Samus Hunter. But there's been other um, you know leakers out there that have referenced this of Emily Rogers etc so i i got a feeling that dk and fire emblem remakes i mean fire emblem remakes coming i i you know do we really need even a leaker to tell us that um fire emblem remakes make sense look what they did after fire emblem awakening they started blasting us with some remakes uh and then look what happened with fire emblem three houses it's like the best selling fire emblem game of all time or pretty close to it i believe it outsold awakening so i'm pretty sure it's the best selling fire emblem game of all time of course they're gonna you know hit us with a remake next uh, and then obviously Donkey Kong. I mean, we haven't seen one really. I mean, yeah, we had Tropical Freeze get ported, but we haven't really seen one, um, you know, since the Wii U days. I think 2014, right? Maybe I'm a little off on the exact release year, but yeah, that's that's like the last time we saw Donkey Kong. Uh, and when we think even longer about that, when's the last time we saw an internally developed Donkey Kong? It's been Rare and then Retro. Now Retro Studios is owned by Nintendo. Rare wasn't, but, but Retro Studios is wholly owned by Nintendo, so I kind of get that, but I don't know. It, it, it's interesting uh, to see what's going to happen with that. And obviously, we need to know when are we going to see Metro Prime 4. Obviously, clearly, I don't think we're even seeing the game till next year, and I might not even see, like, it might not come out next year. Metroid very much might be a 2023. I have, I have no idea. Um, because they're not, they, they, while they're going to blow their load next year, I, they're still going to have something for 2023, right? They're not just going to give us a nothing burger, are they? Unless that's the year a new system's coming out. I, again, I don't really know what Nintendo's plans are at this point. Uh, we just have to stay tuned. And I know Nintendo wants Switch to last as long as it possibly can. Uh, so even though 2022 might have a killer lineup, I don't think that's like a swan song year. I think they're going to keep it going, at least as it stands today until Nintendo really tells us any different. Uh, so yeah, that's really cool. I'm glad that we have these uh, these, these couple games to look forward to. Obviously, we still have Nintendo's currently known slate to look forward to. That just yeah, um, you know, I, I'm just really glad uh, that we have more to look forward to and going to continue to have more to look forward to. Uh, you know, so some people ask me sometimes like what other games I expect Nintendo to do. Uh, we you know we heard about a couple of Kirby games. Uh, I, we don't I don't know if there's going to be two Kirby games, but we know the Kirby team has publicly stated they're working on a new Kirby game. They said that uh, early last year, and they've been say, said it in a couple of interviews since. So uh, we know a new Kirby game is in the works. That could be the game that gets dropped in Nintendo's open month, which is like. What, what is that open month? Is it is it August or is it September? I can't remember. I have to look at the release slate. Uh, one of these upcoming, in the next three months, there's an open month that doesn't have a major first-party Nintendo game. Uh, that They could slip in a Kirby game for that. Um, so maybe that's what, what, what fills that open month. I know there's a major third-party game that comes out that month. 
Is it Shimigami Tensei 5? I don't know. I gotta, I gotta again, look, re-look at that release calendar. But anyway, maybe that's one thing we'll do tonight, is we'll take a look uh, during my birthday stream at 8 p.m. I'll take a look through Nintendo's uh, release slate for 2021 uh, and beyond, because Nintendo did give us an updated graphic on that. Uh, so maybe we could look, take a look at that together. Uh, and just have a good time tonight. I hope all you guys are having a lovely day. I hope if you're in the United States, you had a, a good 4th of July weekend. Uh, stayed safe, especially since, you know, I know there's some areas that are still having some COVID outbreak issues. So hopefully you're staying safe. Um, if you were able to be around a bunch of vaccinated people and, and able to, to celebrate the 4th, awesome. Um, I didn't really do much on the 4th of July, to be honest. Uh, mostly just stuck with my fiance and my kids. Uh, we went to uh, her grandparents' house uh, without them even being home. Uh, we went down on their dock because they live on the lake, and we just watched fireworks from there. Uh, we jumped in the in the lake too and swam a little bit. But yeah, it's it, it was a pretty chill Fourth of July for us. Uh, usually we have a big family thing. Uh, we didn't have that this year because my dad had double knee surgery and, and didn't want to host anything. And I could I we can't host fireworks at my house because we have giant power lines in the backyard. So uh, because we do the, the the shooting in the air big bang ones. So uh, anyways, it was a good time. It was a nice relaxing time. And now here we are on July fifth, my birthday. Celebrating another year on Mother Earth. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll catch each and every single one of you in the next video or live stream or wherever you check me out next. Bye.